Welcome. In this particular video, we're going to be looking at the Mark Recapture Simulation Program. This is a program that is one of the many simulation programs in the Virtual Biology Lab. The Mark Recapture Program enables us to look at various factors that control how good an estimate of the population size you get using the Mark Recapture technique. In order to use the program, you need to be familiar with several aspects of it. There are three sets of boxes or tabs. And the first one we'll look at just briefly are these in the upper right hand corner. These are the parameter tabs. They basically set the conditions under which the study is being done. So you can change the size of the population that you're looking at. You can change how the animals move around in the population. And most importantly, you can change their trap experience from neutral, unaffected, negative, they don't like being trapped, or positive, they do like being trapped. For our little example here, we'll just stick it at neutral. I've already turned on the see all from off to on. If it's off, you won't see the virtual voles in your virtual meadow. The second set of tabs or boxes you need to be familiar with are the purple ones at the lower right hand portion of your screen. These enable you to actually do the study. They open the traps, they mark the voles, they release the voles, and eventually they unmark the voles. There's another couple of purple tabs on the top. They basically are used to make sure that everything's properly set up and they get things going. So the reset button you have to hit every time you've changed any of the parameters to make sure that parameter is now incorporated into the simulation. Go simply starts a run. At the bottom part of the screen, there are a bunch of recorder boxes, and they record the data. And this data is being collected through both the first and the second set of trapping runs. Okay, these are the data you need to estimate the size of the population. And we'll get back to those in a minute. Well, let's go ahead and try a run. What we'll do is we'll leave things are the way they are in terms of parameters. We'll leave the trapping experiences at neutral. We'll hit reset just to be sure that everything is all set up. We'll hit go. Get things moving there in the simulation. Try that again. Here we go. And then we'll start our first trapping run by hitting open. This opens our four traps. These traps will remain open for a virtual two hours. They close automatically. You don't need to worry about that. Here they go. They've just closed. Now what we need to do that we've captured these animals is to mark them and then release them back into the population using those purple tabs. Now you need to wait about 30 or 40 seconds after you've released the marked voles back into the population to make sure they've had a chance to mix up with the main population again. If you open the traps again for the second run too early, you'll get some very biased data. It should be long enough now. We'll go back and start our second trapping run. Again, we open the traps, and then we have to wait for a virtual two hours. Hopefully this time we'll also capture some of the marked animals from the first trapping run. There we go. Our second trapping run is done. At this point, we've got all the data we need to estimate the Lincoln-Peterson estimator of the size of the population. There are three numbers we need. The first one is in the first box here, which is the number of animals captured during the first trapping run, which is 10. The middle box tells you the number of those marked animals from the first trapping run that were recaptured. And the third box tells you the total number of animals, both marked and unmarked, that were captured during the second trapping run. You know, those are the three pieces of information you need to calculate the Lincoln-Peterson estimator of the size of the population. In this program, that's already done for you and is found in this fourth box. That's all there is to it. You need to record this data from the first three boxes in an Excel spreadsheet because that's the crucial information you'll need uh, for this particular lab exercise. Once you're done here, you can unmark the voles and release them back into the population and then you can start a second run. When you're ready to change the trap experience from say neutral to negative, go back up here and do that. And then in order to make sure that that negative is incorporated into the trap parameters, hit reset before you run uh, a next set of runs. This may take a few seconds and now you're ready to examine the impact of a negative trap experience on the size that you can estimate using a mark recapture technique. Anyway, hope you have lots of fun doing this exercise and get some nice data. Bye-bye.